My name's Jack Challoner, Sports Science Year One. Uh, this is for my Tumblr blog for continued personal development. I'm going to reflect upon the action plan that I made at the beginning of the year in personal development planning and see what I've, I've achieved so far. The first objective on my action plan was to improve my academic writing skills. I feel as though these have improved but maybe not as much as I would have liked. Uh, I've definitely seen improvements in my ability to plan my work. Uh, I realise that this is important now. I may not have done it at the start of the year. I didn't really plan things. I just sort of did my research and then went into writing my essays or reports but now I plan my work thoroughly. Uh, my ability to understand what's being asked of me in each assignment brief has definitely improved and I take time to make sure I'm on the right track and don't go off topic at all throughout. My academic writing style has improved. I don't use any slang language. Uh, I write in the third person and the, I now understand the use of acronyms throughout my work. My ability to research has definitely improved uh, and my ability to use a range of sources also including books, journals and also websites. Despite these improvements I feel as though my time management has still let me down at times and maybe impacted on my academic writing. Um, I've actually left one or two assignments a little bit late uh, to start them and this has caused my average grades to drop sli slightly. Uh, going forward I will ensure that I have adequate time for each assignment to research and to write it. <clears throat> my next objective was to improve on my communication skills. I, I have improved these mainly through getting to know my peers and engaging in discuss discussions in class. Another way that these, these, these have improved for me is by performing free presentations throughout the course of the year. One in PDP at the beginning of the year, one in anatomy and physiology and also one in biomechanics. I feel as though these have had a positive impact on my communicate, communication skills and have given me more confidence speaking in front of people. Next objective was to gain an extra qualification in gym instructing. I did have the intention of attending the course, unfortunately this year I couldn't quite afford to, I had insufficient funds. Uh, this was disappointing but I will ensure that I put some money to, side, to, to one side for next year so that I can complete the course. My next objective on my action plan was to complete the first year of my foundation degree and achieve a high grade. Uh, I'm still waiting on some grades to be handed back to me and I still actually have two assignments to do and um, two essays to do. So at this moment in time my grade is not clear but so far I'm happy with the grades that I've received and I'm on course to complete the first year of my foundation degree and move on to my second year. My next objective was to gain an extra qualification in nutrition. Uh, I've not actually had the opportunity to do this yet as the course has not been run at the university. Hopefully next year there will be enough interest so that the course can be put on. Uh, next year I'll actually be studying nutrition as a module and uh, I will make, make it clear to my tutor that I'm interested in doing the extra qualification. My final objective was to complete my foundation degree and achieve a high grade overall. Obviously this is a long term goal so it cannot be achieved until next year when year 2 is complete. Although I am on course to achieve a fairly high grade this year and I need to continue to apply myself to my studies over the next 14 months to ensure that I complete my foundation degree and also achieve a high grade which I know that I am capable of. Where's the red button, Mitch? <laughs> On the back of the camera. To the right? Yeah. Like a little camera button? Yeah.